Yeah guys, if you are worried about nuclear radiation, electric fields, magnetic fields in your home, at your workplace or while traveling, then I have an absolute awesome device for you. That's the FNI RSI, very famous brand and that's the GC03. By the way, I got this device for free for this test, but it's still my honest opinion on that. I would never claim something which is not true. And so that's what we get in this box. So of course we get the device itself. We get these small instructions manual and we get the USB A to USB C charging cable. Charging is here on the side with modern USB-C. By the way, even though we get the USB-A to USB-C cable, we can also charge it USB-C to C even with very modern PD. Some time ago, I've already tested a similar device. That's the one here, GQ Electronics GMC800 almost some kind of a standard. Really a lot of people have been buying this device in the past. And so of course I wanted to compare this new FNI RSI with this one here. By the way, I've already done this and I can tell you, yeah, this thing here blows this one out of the water. Definitely no doubt about that. And I'm going to show you why? So the only advantage what I see here is a little bit a larger screen, but when it comes to usability, touch and feel, then the FNI RSI is definitely much easier to use. I just took this out of the pocket and I was really struggling to find out what I can do with this thing because these buttons here are pretty counter intuitive yeah definitely not very easy to use and here so much better so what we have here again the on off the loan press to turn it on when you start it for the first time you have to select the language also power off is loan press here of course and then you have basically three buttons that's always the back and now we are on the root menu so there's no back from here here we have confirmation or settings and here we have this rotatable knob which is super super helpful and i think that that's the main difference here, main advantage. So you can see we can switch through these three different panels very easily. So here we have the normal standard reading, like current reading of the nuclear radiation, electric field and magnetic field. But we also have some extra information. We switch to the right side and we have this advanced or like pro-like information here with really a lot. So we have the current reading, we have an average, we have the maximum, we have even a cumulative time dose, alarm readings and still the electric and magnetic readings. But of course the focus here is on the nuclear detection and on the right side we have this graph here where we can see the development over time and then we have a lot of settings here with this button so for example we have the alarm settings the only disadvantage what i see here is this button this is actually a push button but it's not active so when we push here nothing is happening this would have been really nice but instead of pushing here we have to confirm here with this button so for example for the alarm set here we have the radiation alarm, we confirm here, go down, confirm again, then we can change the alarm setting, confirm, go back, choose this setting, change that. But of course you can also change the alarm numbers here for the electric field and magnetic field. Check the alarm records, set the units, choose between the different screen pattern. For example, dark, which we have activated now, or we can switch to the light setting. Really nice, but I go back now to the dark. Different times for auto off. System setting, also very, very important. Highly recommended to do that at the beginning, especially for the volume. That's here. I mean, of course, here we have the brightness and then here we have the volume. So I click here so you can hear 
when we have it like that with every button press will hear exactly that so i guess you don't need that at least i don't want to have this so i confirm here but we can also set the alarm type so here in this case everything is activated the voice vibration and the light so in case of an alert we will see a light vibration and get an audible alarm and if you like you can also adjust the clock and we can also check the firmware so we are on a 103 i've already upgraded that we can factory reset or if you want to upgrade turn it off and then press the select button and the on off for longer time so you can see we are in the upgrade mode download the latest firmware connect it to computer with a usb then you will see a temporary folder and so you can just drag and drop the new firmware into this folder and everything else will happen automatically that's super easy and so i've been going around through my home checking different devices checking for electric fields here especially on a transformer and it was reacting instantly also tested a kitchen appliance for electric and magnetic fields and it also detected it instantly but i guess most people are buying such devices to test nuclear radiation and so i have this glow in the dark glass and so with a good device we should be able to test elevated microsievert readings here and so we are putting both of these devices right on top here i would say pretty much in the center and so let's see how they are reacting and so the FNIRSI really reacting fast measuring the elevated radiation here while the GMC 800 is pretty much stuck and takes way too long to read that recognize the elevated radiation yeah you can see the difference here absolutely amazing there's no trick no nothing just a much better device here on the right side obviously and it's not only better it's also more beautiful and so we can also see this very advanced probe here through this transparent window yeah, absolutely awesome very responsive easy to set up easy to configure easy to use and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with this device then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time